You're watching the Bayou Outdoor Show. Presented by Bayou Outdoor Super Center, Louisiana's largest RV and boat dealer. Tubs Hardware and Rental in Bossier City and Benton. Shreveport Tractor, where the coffee pot's always on. And United Country Real Estate. We're here in Limpopo, South Africa, hunting the Yala antelope. I'll tell you with this brush, it's hard. Never been to South Africa, the terrain looks a lot like West Texas. It's dry and a lot of brush, and the Niala likes the cover. Too much brush. We got a perfect shot at about 25 yards, but again, too much brush. But, oh man, look at that. That bush, that bush is holding it right there. There's no way. Well, both of those bulls are good. The Niala antelope is native to South Africa. The male is dark black with bluish tints and it has spiral horns and it weighs over 250 pounds. The female is brown with lots of stripes. And we're hunting in July, which is winter time for South Africa. But the winters are mild here. Oh, there's that. You know, it's one thing finding a trophy Niala. When you do, you stay on its trail. With the cover, they feel protected. All you have to do is take your time and wait for the right moment. Oh, right there, just right in the bushes. So close. There's just so much brush here. You gotta be careful when you're shooting an arrow. That's an elusive animal. Well, We just made a little movement and stocked in close. This is a rare moment. I've been hunting in Africa for over two years and it's the first time to see one, much less a herd of them. They're everywhere. They're very cautious animals. How? 50? I thought he said 50. As a bow hunter, you depend on knowing what the right distance is. Here I'm having trouble understanding my guide. chasing this bull all day and you can see this African cover is just thick and what can't bite you will stick you so you have to kind of go around it you can't go through it and kept waiting kept waiting he finally popped out a little over 30 yards looks like a good shot we can barely see him over there Africa <laughs> all right the, the Ninala is an elusive creature. I'm telling you, likes this thick brush 
and they just kind of ease through there just out of range all the time but we lucked out and got this one now what kind of what what all kind of animals do you have just roughly what kind of oh anything from a steambuck up to an eland uh diker uh, impala lesbuck uh, kudu kudu's my favorite <laughs> in fact that's what we're going after next folks if you're looking for one of the finest family-run uh, operations right here in Africa, hey, it's Lakota Safaris. Spring is around the corner, and now is the time to come by Bayou Outdoor Supercenter and pick out that new or used RV with our great selection of RVs starting at $79.95 all the way up to the number one motorhome in America, the Tiffin Allegro Bus. We have some of the most popular models in stock now, including Cardinal, Flagstaff, Raptor, Columbus, Open Range, Sundance, Starcraft, and many more. Come by today and visit our friendly and professional staff at Bayou Outdoor Supercenter and pick out that new RV. If you own, own timberland and are looking for a consultant to help you with your forest management, uh, uh, a consultant is really your advocate. Uh, they're there to represent you and, and to offer services, uh, a broad array of, of forest management services, and it will include the supervision of timber sales, uh, man, boundary line maintenance, surveys, whether it be herbicide treatments, tree planting, burning, all those sorts of things that need to be done on the forest, your consultant is there to help you manage the property and to do those things. Okay, how many of you folks has ever went to a fine uh, barbecue restaurant and had some great sausage along with your ribs or brisket or whatever you uh, was ordering, and then later on you decided to do a cookout and uh, you put on the sausage and it just doesn't turn out the way that you'd planned or way it tasted at that fine barbecue restaurant. Well, there's a reason. It's all about the sausage. And everybody's heard of Trace Atkins, one of the best country and western singers in the industry, has combined with high tower country sausage and they produced, well, it's been produced back in the 1970s, but they just come together and have got some of the best sausage that's out there. Hi, I'm Trace Atkins. You know, I've always tried my best to be honest, hardworking, reliable, and I'd like to believe that uh, those traits are evident in my music and everything else I do. And I think you'll find those traits are used to make Trace Atkins High Towers Country Smoked Sausage. These handmade smoked sausages come straight from my old stomping grounds in North Louisiana. Packed full of flavor, this third generation recipe is made with the finest ingredients stuffed and smoked to a quality standard that avoids cheap filler and added water. High Towers has been making sausage in Webster Parish since 1972. I've been enjoying this product for years. I've now joined with High Towers to produce Trace Atkins High Towers Country Smoked Sausage with a commitment to quality that's important to me and is full of flavor. So, pick up a pack of Trace Atkins High Towers Country Smoked Sausage two country originals. They, they got three flavors here that we're gonna do. The original, which is a one always a favorite. The hot, they kicked it up a notch right here. And then the jalapeno and cheese, which is one of the favorites. We're gonna put this on here on the grill, get them ready. And while we're getting, while this is all smoking in here, we're gonna, we're gonna go on Trace Atkins CountrySausage.com and look at some of the recipes, folks. You need to go on there and check out the recipes he's got on there. Some of them's his, some by his mom, some by other folks that uh, use the sausage and called in and and uh, and wrote them down. And there's some of the finest Cajun, Louisiana Southern cooking that you'll have. All right, we got those in there. Now what we've done, we've taken a few of the about a half a package of the, of the jalapeno cheese. We're gonna make a dish. It's called scalloped potatoes and sausage. And here's how you do it. Take some thin sliced potatoes, real thin. You coat the bottom of it. Now you take some of the Trace Atkins High Tower Country Sausage, put a layer of that on there. Now you put another layer of potatoes on here. Remember, these are leave the skin on these potatoes and put them on here. It doesn't matter really what kind of Irish potatoes or red potatoes, um, they'll, it'll all turn out good. All right, now you put on one more layer 
of the sausage. Again, we're using the jalapeno and cheese. Put on another layer of that. Well, this is going to be good. Now, the, folks, this is a southern thing from Louisiana. Now then, another layer of potatoes. Okay, now very simple seasoning is all it is, salt and pepper, because you got plenty of seasoning in your sausages. Put a little, little salt and pepper on top. Okay, over the top of it is a can of cream of mushroom soup, and you take your can, fill it up with uh, milk, put that can of milk in there, and then you have some cheese, and you'll put all that on top of that. Okay. Now then, of course you can use more cheese or less cheese. We're just going to put a little bit of cheese on there. We're going to put some more salt and pepper. And then folks, this goes in the oven for about, about an hour on 350 and we'll set that in the oven. You know what I really recommend you do when you uh, cooking meat like this is get a digital thermometer. They're only about 20 bucks at any major uh, sporting goods or Walmart, wherever you want to buy them. And uh, it takes the guesswork. Uh, Trace Atkins uh, High Towers Country Smoked Sausage recommends 160 degrees. So let's check out and see what this is right here and see if it's about done. You just put it right in the middle of the sausage. In just a few seconds, it'll tell you, and there it is right there, it'll start beeping. It's over 160, so those sausage are ready to pull off, and I'm telling you, it'll be some of the best sausage, just like you're getting at the, the major barbecue restaurants. Of course, this is the jalapeno and cheese. If you look at this, there's the jalapenos and the cheese right in there, and I'm telling you, that tastes like it didn't come from a fine barbecue restaurant right here at home. Now here in just a few minutes, we'll have the scalloped potatoes coming off and we'll check them out. Okay, the potatoes are done. Uh, here they are, they're the potatoes with the sausage in there. I'm telling you folks, this is some of the best eating you'll ever have right here. And you can find these recipes on traceatkinscountrysausage.com. If they're not in your store, Give old Marvin a call up there. I've been to his uh, store up there where they actually make all the sausage and he will set you up with a to-go box or call ordered off the internet and he will pack it in ice. And look here folks, all the sausage that you want of any kind, I really recommend you get the jalapeno cheese and the original. The original you can cook about anything, but it's Trace Atkins High Tower Country Smoked Sausage out of Louisiana. It's a Cajun thing. Go to their website. Don Tubbs keeps his store so clean you could eat off the floors. His lawnmowers, weed eaters, chainsaws, and leaf blowers are the best money can buy, and his people know how to fix them. If it's unique Cajun foods you want, Tubbs City location has them. Anything, Louisiana, Mardi Gras, souvenirs, he's got them. Oh, and when it comes to the backyard, buy our lawnmowers and you'll spend less time mowing by our grills, you'll have more fun grilling. Tubbs, a fun place to shop. Kubota's got a new line of exciting zero-turn mowers called the Commanders. From 23 horsepower to 27 horsepower. We have RTVs, which stand for Rough Terrain Vehicles, and we also have skid steers. This is the new Kubota SVL. They make it in a 75 horse and a 90 horse. What? Anything you can dream of to help you do your job easier, they have an attachment for. We're a full line Kubota dealership here. We've got tractors from 18 horsepower all the way up to 135 horsepower. We have lawn mowers, we have zero turn mowers, we have RTVs. We're a full line Kubota dealer here at Shreveport Tractor where the coffee pot's always on. Well, we're a family oriented uh, business and I run the boat center over here at 4306 East Texas. Right. Chad, my other son, he runs the RV sales at 1800 Barksdale. And Cody, he's in the repair business on the RV side. We do horse trailers, anything that's got to do with hauling or, or living in. He does it at Central Park Boulevard off of Barksdale. Well, this is the new uh, Ranger aluminum boat that they've come out with that's done real well. A 178 aluminum boat. Mm -hmm. And that's new on the market. We have the uh, XL duck boats and we also have the gator tail uh, duck boats that you can put the mud motor on the back of or the gator tail uh, 
mud motor mm -hmm. and uh, it can go just about virtually anywhere without any trouble. Right, made for the duck hunting. Right. This is a uh, 118 Ranger with a 150 Mercury on the back of it. And this is a Stratus boat that we handle, uh, made by Ranger. So we're a full, full line Mercury dealer and uh, we handle Mercury motors. We also are a full line Yamaha dealer and E-Tech, Evinrude. Yeah. So we have the uh, motors to supply anything that you're wanting in the industry. And we have uh, over 10 technicians that work on uh, all the Yamahas and Mercury's and we have a Yamaha master technician which is hard to find. We've uh, got the Sea Ray ski boat line, we have the Moomba and the Subra uh, tow boat lines and the best thing about the Moomba and the Subra they can virtually tow any amount of skiers you want in the back. This is our 3,000 gallon uh, aquarium. We have uh, largemouth bass, brim, catfish that we've caught in area lakes around here. And uh, when we feed them on Saturday morning, it is really something to see. We also have the uh, Mercury uh, small outboards along with the Yamaha outboards, along with the uh, mud motors. And we also carry uh, the R&V works uh, fish cookers. We do the uh, smoker uh, grills and we also have the fish cookers. And I don't think you can uh, buy a better fish cooker on the market. We have the uh, Shimano and we have the G Loomis and uh, the Kistler rods. Uh, we have kind of a hard to find selection of tackle and baits that you don't normally see at your everyday uh, tackle store. In our bait shop we have people that uh, fish professionally and locally tournaments. They know what they're talking about and far as the people that rig our boats we have professional people that uh, go in tournaments themselves. They know how to rig a boat, they know how to put the depth finders in, and they know how to tell you how to work it. Uh, and they, they're good at what they do. And we, we call him Big Dave that works in our tackle shop and he's, he stays up on the latest baits, uh, spinner baits, anything that's on the market, he takes care of it. Anything that people need as far as the fishing or skiing or tow boat wise, we have everything you need here and the professional people that it takes to rig you out and get you on the water for a safe weekend. Kubota's got a new line of exciting zero-turn mowers called the Commanders. From 23 horsepower to 27 horsepower. We have RTVs which stand for rough terrain vehicles and we also have skid steers. This is the new Kubota SVL. They make it in a 75 horse and a 90 horse. What? Anything you can dream of to help you do your job easier, they have an attachment for. We're a full line Kubota dealership here. We've got tractors from 18 horsepower all the way up to 135 horsepower. We have lawn mowers, we have zero turn mowers, we have RTVs. We're a full line Kubota dealer here at Shreveport Tractor where the coffee pot's always on. Spring is around the corner, and now is the time to come by Bayou Outdoor Supercenter and pick out that new or used RV. With our great selection of RVs starting at $79.95 all the way up to the number one motorhome in America, the Tiffin Allegro Bus. We have some of the most popular models in stock now, including Cardinal, Flagstaff, Raptor, Columbus, Open Range, Sundance, Starcraft, and many more. Come by today and visit our friendly and professional staff at Bayou Outdoor Supercenter and pick out that new RV. Welcome to Tubbs Hardware's Country Location. Our Country Location is just south of the Benton Courthouse here in Benton, Louisiana on Highway 3. Our city location is at 615 Benton Road in Bossier. And again, our Country Location is at Highway 3 in Benton, Louisiana. Where Chad Smith is our manager and lead salesperson We give God the credit for allowing us to have wonderful manufacturers 
like Toro, Exmark, Echo Shindawa, Steel, and a good staff of people. So when you buy something, you have a relationship with that dealership for the next 20 or 30 years because you're buying a quality product and we're going to service what we sell and I preach this to our mechanics all the time. Never promise to do more than you can deliver. Always deliver more than you promise. That is our secret here at Tubbs. My passion, outdoor cooking. So we can help you make tall grass short and teach you how to cook on a big green egg. That's why my slogan is, spend less time mowing, have more fun grilling. My friends make fun of me because I don't play golf. And they tell me that I don't play golf because I'm always cooking outside. And I tell them this too. Well, I can't play golf because I can't say four. Me being in the retail business, I'd have to say $3.99. Number one priority is to support the products that we sell. Parts, we have an extensive amount of parts. Service, we service what we sell and our mechanics are the best. And if I have parts and service in place, sales follow. Tubbs Hardware, making tall grass short for over 30 years. Remember, spend less time mowing and have more fun grilling. Y'all come see us. Folks, after the break, we're going to be on an elk hunt with my dad, Buck Daly, here at the Homestead Ranch with Tom McLeod. Tom, whereabouts are we located here? We are 47 miles west of Gunnison uh, in the Gunnison National Forest and about 26 miles south of the little town of Crawford. Well, you know, um, to tell you the truth, uh, Buck, we're on the point of the mountain. Yeah, because this mountain is, uh, it's pretty big. Black Mesa's pretty large. It goes from here, and it's, uh, by road, it's 26 miles up to the head of the Mesa for, so really, we're just down on the point of it. It, it goes a long ways to the north here. There's nearly 2,700 deeded acres on this ranch, and, and so, there's, uh, but we've got right at 24, not quite 2,400 acres under, under. We've got a, we've got two places on this ranch that go to 10,000 feet. A part of the ranch here. Now yeah. we're in. I mean, this is huge. Where does about? Show me about where the land is. Well, it 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 goes down across this canyon, and then goes up through that park over there. You uh -huh. can just see a line going up through that park into right. those into that dark timber. Right. And it keeps going north there for about uh, well, about a mile for where you can see there, and then it it goes up and crosses this big canyon, and then heads for that that other ridge over there where that high dark timber is. Right. And then it goes in corners, and then you can see it coming back at us right, right down that slope right over there. <laughs> Let's talk about this here. Sure. Folks, folks have you ever been in the, in the Aspen and you see all these black marks on here and you think nothing about it? You got elk. <laughs> okay. That's right. That's where the elk's been chewing on them. Man, see, so there's a fresh elk chew mark right here. Yeah, there's something in that aspen bark that them elk really like. I, it's a, it's something that's really, 
really good for their diet. They, they're, they're into that. You know, and, and when I go hunting now, I look, when I'm in the Aspen's folks, I look for these trees. And you can tell, it looks like a looks like it's been under a flood water. You know, it's, yeah. you can tell just about where they're at. Just a plane, they only go up so high. That's when right. you see this next time, you know you got elk on the property. That's, That's right. right. What we've done, folks, we busted we busted these elk here. So, yep. Tom, we're going to go on down, and, and we've seen some more uh, elk on the side of the mountain over there, and we'll try to catch up with them. You bet. Uh-huh. I hadn't put no shell on my gun yet. There's some little bit of <clears throat> brush right in front of him. Can you see that? Uh-huh. Do, do you want Do you? Yeah. That's a good shoulder shot right there. Yeah, I got a good shoulder shot. Where'd he go? He's down. He's down. Yeah. He went down. <laughs> I knew I got him. <laughs> he went down. Oh, no, we just took a, a nice bull here, but I don't know what he is, but boy, it, that sucker was huge. <laughs> what a good shot. <laughs> it was a great shot. Now, of course, folks, now see, you can be 75 years old and still come out here and enjoy a, a hunt of a lifetime in, in mountain, a mountain region like this uh, with Tom and, and his company, but you know, you threaded that shot right in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty I'm tough. impressed. Now, Tom, we got to go find it. But let's yeah. go take a look at him. Looks like a good shot. He can go far, did he? No, he's right there. He's right uh, there. I think we can. I think drive. the best way is to go back around on top and come walk in there. Too. Okay, good. Oh, oh, look at the body size on them suckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a neck shot and a half right there. Uh, that, that bull bled out like a son of a oh, I caught him in his, in his shoulder, though, pretty well. <laughs> man, look at that. Okay. Just, I, I couldn't see but about this much of his shoulder. That's all I could see. Man, and I tell you, that the, you got such, you know, the, the quakies up here, or Aspen, like most people know them. You had a, <laughs> you had a little narrow opening yeah, there, and uh, one heck of a shot.